Shelter Island uh, themes that have been hand painted by Stephanie um, and they're beautiful and so we're going to be raffling those off a little bit later so thank you Stephanie for doing that. Um, also thank you to Antico Enoe. I had to double check on the pronunciation. I think I nailed it. Um, and we were, uh, I was just talking about make sure I got it right for donating the food today. Um, and, all, and obviously uh, the, the Ram sent in. Um, these guys, James and Linda Eklund, who are also board members here uh, with the Island Gift of Life, uh, so generously donate this place for everything that we do, whether it's a, a board meeting, a an event, and um, they really deserve a big round of applause because it's a beautiful it's a beautiful spot, and we're fortunate to have it here. Um, also, I'd just like to thank uh, the Long Island Exchange is here tonight, and we have Cognac Wellerlane and her husband Michael Wellbrock. They came, uh, they, they saw through their office that there's, uh, they cover organizations out here and fundraisers a lot. They came out here from Nassau County to cover our event. Um, spent some time with Cognac myself as well as some other board members. Um, and she's gonna, uh, they're, they, they're online and then we're gonna be actually on television, I guess, right? So uh, thank you to her for making the trek out here for a beautiful night. I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and we are here at the Island Gift of Life Summer Soiree right here on Shelter Island. And I'm here with the president of the organization, and he's going to introduce himself to the camera. Hi, I'm uh, Ken Lewis. I'm the president of the uh, Island Gift of Life Foundation, and uh, we're, it's our first annual uh, summer soiree. We do a March event every year right at this very location at the Ramshead Inn. How exciting! Yeah, we're, we're really excited. We've been sort of trying to figure out a new way to, uh, you know, to raise some awareness of what we do um, and maybe hit a, a little bit different demographic than we usually do at our March event. So hopefully this is going to be uh, the beginning of something really uh, great for us. Well, it looks like it's a beautiful night and you have everything all the components the the place is gorgeous yeah the food is outrageous uh, tell my audience about that you have all the food catered from yeah, uh, we have we have the food is coming today from uh from Antico No, they're uh, from the Hamptons. They donated all, they're making these fabulous paninis and passing all kinds of hors d'oeuvres for us tonight. The Rams Head Inn is hosting us right here on Shelter Island. They've donated all the uh, the alcohol and, and soft drinks for us. Um, and this lo fabulous location, we're right up here sitting on a bluff overlooking Cockles Harbor. And uh, on one side we have the Gardner's Bay on the other side, so it's uh, it's a great night. We couldn't ask it's for It's just place. gorgeous. Yeah, it's really a fabulous fabulous place. We couldn't ask for a better night. It's a little hot, but we're all in the shade, so it seems to be going okay so far. Well, the people from the, gen the generation this house was built 1929, they built these houses with a lot of trees surrounding them for the shade. Right, yeah, and this is a perfect one. Actually, very gatsby -ish. Yeah, it is, it is. This is a very Gatsby-like place, you know? It certainly <laughs> is. And uh, this is one of those, you know, I was a little worried today. I said, oh, man, it's going to be so hot. But then I forgot about all the great trees they have out here in the back well, lawn. That's so that's what the rich did. They built their homes with the, lots of trees to, right. for the shade to cool them because there was no air conditioning yeah, right. at that no time. AC. Well, I'll tell you, you'll feel as the night goes on here a little bit. Sun drops a little lower on the horizon. We're going to have a fabulous breeze up here, too. You're going to feel coming off the water, so it should cool us off nicely. Now, tell my audience how you got involved with this organization and why. Okay, uh, well, about, I'd say it's close to 12 years ago now, um, I was asked by the then board president, uh, Frank Adipietro, um, if I would do uh, a live auction for them here at their March event. We always had like a Chinese auction and sold raffle tickets, and they started doing a live auction where they had five or six items. Um, 
I had done some local emceeing on Shelter Island for road races and other charity events since I grew oh, up so here. So you're into cars, huh? Well, well, mo no, running races mostly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Running races. And uh, so I had done a few of those things. So he asked me one day, um, you know, would you do this live auction for us? And I said, well, I've never done one before, but I'll, you know, I'll give it a shot. And uh, so that was sort of my introduction to it. We had a successful night. And then for a couple of years, I, I started, I kept doing the uh, auctioning for them. And then they asked me to become a board member. So I've been on the board of directors now, I think, at least 10 years. Maybe I might have even been that first year after I did the auction for him. But, um, and I got involved. It's, uh, I, I, knew the, I knew the woman and her family very well, that this was all based around Cheryl Hannenberry, um, who was a woman living on Shelter Island, had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, and it started with sort of a grassroots effort of local folks trying to help her um, you know, find a, a bone marrow match. And, you know, and all the expenses, she didn't have great health insurance at the time. And so, you know, as you can imagine, you know, um, her money would could run out pretty quickly and trying to do that stuff on your own. And the so expense on her family, too. Oh, absolutely. So so a, a group of, you know, local people here on Shelter Island got together to raise money for her, to help her out. Um, and then as a result of that fundraising effort, uh, it blossomed into this organization while Cheryl was still alive um, they formed a, a you know a formal 501c3 charitable organization which we are now the island gift of life and uh, and we continue um, really in Cheryl's name to continue what her dream was was to you know help people with life-threatening illnesses that you know with some of the uncovered expenses that come with those things for not only just for them for the patients but for the families as well so um, and so I knew them very well and I knew a lot of the folks that had asked me to be on this board and um, and it's been great. It's been a really good thing for me. I feel very proud to do it. So. Well, you should be very proud. Now, tell my audience, the proceeds uh, from the uh, from the shopping is going towards this the fundraiser yes. towards this organization. That's right. That is it. What is it? Fifteen percent. Yeah, I think fifteen percent. Uh, Jay McLaughlin is here, um, and they're they're conducting a sale under the tent over there of some of their uh, you know clothing line, and fifteen percent of whatever they sell tonight will go to the charity. Um, they've also generously donated a handbag that we're going to have a little we're going to have a little wrap at the end of the night for the people that sort of like a door sort of raffle for people um, and so yeah so and everything tonight is uh, the ram said everything's been donated and this is really sort of a it's a we're hoping it to be a kickoff where it's going to be this is going to be an annual event for us in the summer I would love to see that happen for you guys now if you do obtain a sufficient amount of money towards this you know from this event do you have any goals in mind that you would like to uh, attach the funds to? I mean, is there something that you'd like to do for the organization for this year? Well, one thing that we do every year and uh, a, a major focus of the fundraising that we do is um, we donate ten thousand dollars each year to the bone marrow registry so what that is um, you know that takes place at a lot of uh, a lot of blood drives you know you see blood drives popping up all over the place um, and at a blood drive people can get uh, a cheek swab done um, that will then which is free you know at the blood drive and then as a result of that cheek swab and they fill out some paperwork to say that they'd be interested in possibly being a, a bone marrow donor that then goes on if, in fact, after the initial test is done on, on the cheek swab, if they discover that the person uh, meets a certain criteria, there's an additional test that is done then on, on that cheek swab. And so that additional test is a lot of what we fund. So. I see. So we so that ten thousand dollars goes. I think I, I'm not positive on the dollar amount. I have to check with our bone marrow registry people, but I think I think it's between twenty five and fifty dollars for the test. So if you do the math, you know we're we're paying for quite a few tests to happen each year at the ten thousand dollar mark. So that's something that we earmark every year for so that. This fundraiser will help with that. Oh, absolutely, and 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 it will help also just to go into our general fund, which is uh, what we use. Use um, 
to help people on a case-by-case -case basis. It's not always, what we do isn't just always about giving grant money to someone. It's, we're able to help people sometimes um, just with navigating sometimes the, the difficulty that they have navigating the healthcare system. You know, they have, maybe they have good insurance, but they're not sure. Or they don't they, know how to utilize it. They don't it. know how to use, utilize it. Some of our, you know, some of the people that we help maybe have Medicaid, they have Medicaid Part B, but they need Part C, and so we try to help them, that, and, and we have a number of healthcare professionals on our board, doctors, nurses, um, and then we have um, we have a couple of people that have been, served on our board in the past, but still stay on in an advisory capacity for us that work in the health insurance industry, so we're always able to reach out to someone to give a hand. So Sounds wonderful. Yeah. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information? How, where can we go to contribute, support, participate, and donate? You can go right to our website, which is uh, islandgiftoflife.org, um, and right on uh, on our homepage, it'll give you a, uh, you can go right to the homepage, you find a place, all the contact information for us, um, any, uh, and, and there's places to make a donation right online, and uh, and any there's phone numbers and, and all kinds of resource material there for folks, too, that are going through a tough time. So that's what we're here for. We're here to help them out. So. Let's toast. Absolutely. Salute. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you very much for and coming. And don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment with more <laughs> interviews right here on Shelter Island. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> Been a crybaby productions, darlings.